Hey everyone, Destroya here and today I'll be showing you how to optimize your Windows 10 PC for the best gaming experience and overall performance. So without any further ado, let's get right into it. The first thing you'll need to do is to disable your privacy settings by going to settings and then heading to privacy. Um, for the first tab, the general tab, you want to disable all four of these options, set them to off, and then go to speech, and then disable it as well. You'll need to disable as many options as you possibly can. Um, disable this one, in inking and typing personalization, diagnostics and feedback, set it to basic, and then disable all these settings, because you're, you're definitely not going to need them. And finally, go to activity history, then set this slider to off and uncheck this checkbox send my activity history to microsoft and uncheck this one as well make sure it's in check once you're done with windows permissions you want to then head to app permissions and start off with location click on this change button make sure this is set to off and then you'll need to head to background apps and disable all the apps that you don't need or don't use i'm fine with all of these since i have 16 gigs of ram anyway so let me just disable microsoft news um one note and paint 3d for example and finally when i had to app diagnostics and set the slider to off by that you simply prevent your apps from running in the background or accessing your location or diagnostics once you're done with your privacy settings you want to then disable your cortana because like honestly now who still uses cortana till today so you want to head to your settings cortana Make sure all of these options are off. Same goes here. Off. And all of these ones are off as well. And finally, set this one to off. If you still use Cortana, then you obviously um, don't need to disable them. But if you don't use Cortana, then disabling them might help. And once you're done with your Cortana settings, you then want to head to your um, game bar settings by going to gaming. And as always, make sure everything is set to off. Set this one to off, go to captures, set all these ones to off. Of course, if you use like the game bar um, Windows recording software, um, you don't need to disable these settings, obviously. But if you don't use it, then disabling them might definitely help. And as for the game mod, you, um, you don't necessarily need to turn this off because this like optimizes your PC for um, uh, for uh, games once you open up any game so yeah you don't have to turn this one off so once you're done with your settings you want to open up your task manager by right clicking the taskbar and then clicking task manager and then you'll need to head to the startup tab and disable all the apps that you don't need to launch whenever you boot up your PC so to disable an app you just need to click it and then if it's enabled, I'll click on this disable button here. And in my case, let me just disable this one and this one, and we'll be good to go. And by the way, this also speeds up your boot time, so your Windows loads up faster when you open it up. Um, anyway, you want to then head to your services tab and scroll down to the very bottom, and you'll see some Xbox tasks, and you want to disable each of them. So right click it and then click stop same goes for this one this one and this one and now all of them are disabled we are then going to delete temporary files which are useless yet still take up space from the drives anyway so you want to open up run by pressing your windows key plus r and then you want to type in percent temp percent and click ok and once this folder shows up, you want to click on Control A to select all files and delete. So if this pops up, you want to click on do this for, for all current items and click on continue. Of course, you're going to have some, ta some um, files which you're not going to be able to delete. So you just want to skip them. So to do this for all current items and skip. And you're probably gonna have a few files left over which is okay and then you want to repeat the process but this time you want to type in just temp 
without the percent signs. So we'll just type in temp and that's it. And click OK. And do the same thing you did with the last file. You will click on Control A to select all files and delete them. Continue. If this pops up, do this for all current items. Continue. And then skip these last few files. Do this for all current items and skip. Skip. And by that, we have deleted temporary files and freed up some space from the drives as well. After that, you'll want to tweak your visual effects for the best performance. To do that, you want to open up your control panel. Then head to System Security, System, Advanced System Settings, and you want to open up the settings for your performance. And from there, you want to adjust it for the best performance. But I suggest you check this box over here, Smooth Edges off screen fonts because otherwise text is going to look very weird. Of course this exchanges smooth transitions and effects for performance, so expect some change in visual effects. We're then going to perform a quick desk cleanup for our drives. So you want to open up your file explorer, head to this PC, and right click your C drive. It's most probably going to be your C drive that needs a disk cleanup, so you want to right click it, go to properties, and click on disk cleanup. But be cautious because you might accidentally delete important files like your downloads for example. So in my case I'm just going to delete the temporary or internet files and thumbnails for example. Then you want to click on OK and then delete files. and we're done. You can try this on your other drives as well, but it's most probably going to be efficient on the one that you have the OS files on only. So in my case the C drive. So if you try performing it on the D drive, you see we have nothing to clean up. And finally we're going to tweak some power options in order to favor performance over power consumption or battery life. So you want to open up your control panel, then search for power, power options, and choose the mode that prefers, um, that favors performance over battery life, um, which is in my case gaming mode. It might be called like performance mode in your case or whatever. So you want to choose it, then click on change plan settings, change advanced power settings, and you want to head to PCI Express, make sure it's turned off. And then you want to head to Processor Power Management and set the maximum processor state, make sure it's set to 100. And then click OK. And that's it. Of course, all of these methods are perfectly safe if followed correctly and they're pretty easy to do as well. However, you should also consider your own preferences while adjusting these settings instead of just changing them blindly. I've made a video about this a few years ago, but this one is much better and much more comprehensive overall. Hopefully, after making these changes, you'd notice a boost in performance, whether it's for gaming or general use. I'm also planning to do another video about two programs called CCleaner and Razer Cortex. They are very useful tools that I personally use very often to optimize my system for a designated task. So tell me if you guys want me to make a tutorial on how to use them as well later. Also, let me know down in the comments below if you have any problems with any of the procedures shown in the video, and I'll make sure to do my best to help you guys as much as possible. Anyway, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe and like if you found this video helpful, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace. Hey, bitch. Boom.